time to figure it out, but the card system is very cool. I, I enjoy it a lot. And we will hopefully see quite a bit of quite a bit of how it's how it can be used. Yeah, Astra's not one of those characters you really pick if you don't play workshop often. Mm. You like if you're playing Astra, like if your opponent's playing Astra, you're like, uh oh. They know what they're doing. You know? Yeah. Like Yo Yo like could be one of those, like uh, full stream's probably gonna use Yo Yo. Because like I said, kind of Mario esque in terms of normals and all that. But like Astra, it's uh you gotta you gotta put some time in to understand what's going on with this character. Indeed. Like look at that. Like that's crazy. Card special and up special were both because of a different card selected where it is more movement oriented. And that's why the side special was an interesting like single attack followed by an up B with no hitbox. Uh, using the Nair into the up air sets down the first trap of the game. And that Not trap falling for it. That trap will hit multiple times and start a combo. I'm going to call that the Sparkler, even though it probably has a real name. Probably. Ooh, the up strong catching the uh, the whiffed uh, landing from Yo Yo. Oh, yeah. That was the first use of a good combo, or a good kind of trap. Oh, my goodness. This Astra is moving, my friend. And also that down air, a very interesting move where you just get pushed down a slight amount. Good for movement. And that back air, very good for creating space as well. Yeah, this uh, this Astra is definitely doing a great job playing with the lead, understanding that, like, you know, the yo-yo needs to approach her. So Indeed. Bad DI on a, what I presume to be that was a smash, forward strong, forward yeah. Strong, yeah. It's a weird multi-hit that has a strong final hit at the end, so, like, you could be trying to basically like SDI the move, and then all of a sudden the, the strong hit happens and you yeah. just die, you know? Um, Yo-Yo's fair is really cool. It's basically like a Mario fair, but it uses his leg instead. So I, And it feels really satisfying to land. Hmm. Ooh, and off the top, some bad DI uh, getting killed by the Astra up air. Yeah. Astra, oh. Astra up air also has a very interesting, a very interesting maple-like mechanic where Using up air with uh, with upward momentum will send you flying even higher, which can lead for some very early kills off the top. Yeah, this Astra is just kind of moving all over the place. Or this Astra, is this Astra definitely plays a lot of. You can tell they play a lot, a lot of, of workshop. workshop. Absolutely. Also, you'll see they have switched to the next um, next card, which it, is that was a, that held the yo-yo in place. Yeah, it focuses a lot more on stuns. Uh, and the side special is a very slow but uh, but strong projectile that stuns them in place. Same with the trap. And then the up special is a mix between the movement oriented and knockback oriented up smash, giving a stronger hitbox but a slightly shorter distance. Yeah, unfortunately for Flo, just having a lot of uh, struggles finding this kill. Indeed. Astra at 130% and no end in sight, while Yo-Yo sitting on last stock at 97%. And you can tell uh, Artorias is going for a lot of these uh, these hold-in-place stun cards just to uh, just basi just basically to try to yeah guarantee like a strong attack out of them. And so far, it's been working relatively well. It's been keeping Flo away from Astra, yeah. keeping her out of danger. Yeah, Artorias went from a pretty rushed down game gameplay into a complete zoning tool. Indeed. And is catching an overextension there, using the Upstron to cover the landing, taking game one. All right, the Koa counter pick. No, yes, no, no. Yes. yes, yes, no. Perhaps. Maybe. We've noticed Yo Yo has eyes, yet no actual eyes. Yeah, in the uh, the character portrait has eyes, but not in the actual game. Indeed. Maybe just keep too close. All right, so four bands. Uh, Five. Uh, six. Why is Artorias banning so many? It, um, like, I. Um, it must have been f okay. So it must have been a bug. Because it, I'm guessing it was probably Flo banning the stages he didn't want to go to, but the ba the uh, striking was still going with the uh, the the uh, light blue that for player two slot. Interesting. Yeah, I'm. That's what I'm guessing happened. Neither of them seemed too perturbed about it. But here we are on Trowel. Seems this stage is rather popular with Workshop players. We've seen the last game as well. Oh, it's a great stage. I love the stage in Workshop. And I absolutely despise it. Oh, 
It, I, I keep that not, in I, mind. I do not like that top stage. Almost That's really quick. weird because like a couple of our arcane mains in Arizona absolutely love this stage. I do not like t uh, high, my high flats. Interesting. Back to the game, however, we see Flow has gotten a little bit of flow back. He's finding his flow. <laughs> oh, indeed. Yeah, very, very close, very close first stock here. And it's going to be really key for Flow to take it because Arcoria showed that he was very, very good at using the zoning game. It seems Flow is not very good at keeping keeping up during a lack of lead. And there However, you go. Flow takes the first stock. Very quick and stock. We'll see what happens if he ha if he has a lead this time. Oh, okay. Some nice uh, short combos. Nothing too much out of it. 23%. Extra credit going into the second stock, and now we have the little bit of rushdown with the multiple nares. Master just flying around with some aerials. It's interesting. Oh, forward air uh, supposedly reflects back, and I just saw right there. It's interesting. We haven't seen any of these solar cards from Notorious yet, and that is probably the best project uh, projectile that. Uh, what's his name? Astra has uh, regarding killing. Yeah, just for knockback. Like, so you're playing the zoning game though. You don't really need the knockback projectile if you're using the ones that will hold people in place and yeah. also just kind of push them away. All right. Flow getting something started. And back to neutral. Oh, going for the tech chase that didn't believe hard enough. This time, doesn't quite find it. No tech from Flow. That was actually really good no tech because yeah. a lot of times, it, like, when you get spiked into the ground, no tech is a better option in Rivals. Yeah, because not teching is a much, hard, good, much yeah. harder reason, a much harder way to... Yeah, you get that yeah. bounce, and you can't really follow up on it as opposed to, like, if it's a tech roll. You just, like, get to charge a smash attack. You get to basically cover it any way you want, but you actually get a bounce in Rivals as opposed to, like, a missed tech animation in Smash. Indeed. So, like, it's it's really good option. Oh, man. This uh, combo meter up to the top doesn't get anything out of it, though, but Flo is looking really good this game, too, here. Indeed. Flo certainly plays a lot better with a lead. Ooh, up air going to kill once again. Uh, keeps tying the up airs in. Yes. And currently you'll see that there is a trap down, but... Astra is in a different is using a different card, which means that that trap will not be activated until Astra swaps back to that card. And so that trap is essentially useless until Astra until Artorias later changes to that same card. Interesting. So for the time being, there are now two st two traps set. Oh, and no recovery. Whoopsie. Unfortunate. Gonna die off the bottom there, and that's gonna be a 2-0 for Artorias. Mm. Uh, coming up next, we're going to have